Hello, Angela. Uh, this is Mr. Wu speaking, and I'm going to respond to your homework question here from section 2.3. Uh, you asked me about solving equations with fractions, okay? And so the idea is uh, we actually want to get rid of the fractions so that we don't have to work so hard. And so here's an equation, uh, 11x over 4 minus 10 is equal to x over 2 plus 35. And notice that there are um, at least two fractions, uh, but in some ways there's actually four fractions. Here the denominator is 4, here the denominator is 1, here the denominator is 2, and here the denominator is 1. Uh, there's actually an invisible 1 here. Uh, and here's another denominator of an invisible one. And so what we're going to try to do is try to find the uh, lowest common denominator between 4, 1, 2, and 1. Okay. Um, in this case, the numbers are pretty small. And so we could actually find it by just simply um, using the number 4. Okay. The lowest common denominator between 4, 1, and 2 is actually just 4. Okay. We are going to balance this equation by multiplying the entire side, the entire left side, by 4. So I'm going to put a 4 out here, and I'm going to multiply that by 4. Uh, on the entire right side, I'm going to use parentheses, and I'm going to multiply by 4. Okay. Uh, the parentheses are necessary because what you're going to do now is distribute um, this 4 to both these terms. And then uh, we'll, we'll see what it looks like. And so on the left-hand side, we actually have 4 times 11x over 4. Okay, I'm using a dot there. Uh, and then we have minus 4, we use parentheses, uh, times 10. Okay, the equal sign is just rewritten right there. And on the left-hand side, now we have 4 times x over 2. And then finally, plus, we're going to pass out this 4, and then pass out this 4, and then we have 4 times 35. Okay. The reason why we multiply by 4 is so that we can actually start reducing fractions. Okay, we want to reduce fractions. We can reduce fractions when we have the multiplication operation. And so we can reduce the factors 4 over 4. Uh, 4 over 4 reduces to 1. Okay. So what we have right here is just 11 times x. This right here just says minus 4 times 10, which is 40. And now that's equal to, same thing over here. We have um, multiplication. We can reduce the factors of 4 and reduce the factors of 2. And so 4 over 2 reduces to 2 over 1. Okay, but what's 2 over 1? 2 over 1 is just 2. So 4 over 2 reduces to 2 over 1, and so this becomes 2 times x. And then right here, that just says plus 4 times 35. Uh, that is 70 plus 70, which will get you 140. I believe for once you get to this part, um, you could actually finish this problem. Uh, the rest is not uh, too, too difficult. Uh, you should get 9x is equal to 180. And then divide the ent entire sides by 9, and you actually get um, your final answer, which is x equals 20. Okay. Um, notice in the equation, when you're solving an equation, you start with an equation. An equation is two expressions. So here's an expression, and then here's an expression, and with an equal sign in between. Okay, so notice the very, very first line, you have an equation, and then in the second line, you have another equation, and the third line, you have another equation, the fourth line, you still have an equation, and look at this. So your final answer is also an equation. So whenever you're solving equations, um, every single line in your work is actually an equation. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, why don't we go over one more example? Let's try let's look at a different one. Let's change the problem a little bit. Let's change the equation to be this one. Uh, 3x over 2 
is equal to x over 5 uh, minus 39 over 5. Once again, this equation has fractions in it. And so what we would like to do is balance this equation and hopefully actually reduce the fractions in so that we don't have to work with them. Um, in this case, look at all the denominators. The denominator is here is 2, the denominator here is 5, the denominator here is 5. And so what is the lowest common denominator? You could kind of spot it by multiplying 2 times 5. It's actually 10. Okay. We're going to balance the equation by multiplying the entire left-hand side by 10. And we got to do the same to the entire right-hand side. So multiply the entire right-hand side by 10, and we'll see what this simplifies out. Um, what do we have now? We have 10 times 3x over 2. Uh, now we're going to distribute this 10. This is now equal to 10 times x over 5. And then we are going to pass this 10 out one more time. This is times 10 times 39 over 5. I mean, 10 times 39 over 5. Okay. Once again, the reason why we multiply by 10 is so that we can reduce factors. We're going to reduce the factors of 10 and reduce the factors of 2. And so what is 10 over 2? 10 over 2 is actually 5. Okay, 10 over 2 is actually 5. And so what's left is 5 times 3x. Once again, if we have multiplication, we could actually have factors. So we're going to reduce the factors of 10 and reduce the factors of 5. Uh, what's 10 over 5? 10 over 5 is just saying 2. So what we have here is 2 times x. And then one more time, this is a subtraction symbol. We just simply bring it down. 10 divided by 5, or 10 over 5 is once again 2. And then we get 2 times 39. I think you could take it from here. I think you could finish this finish this equation. It's not too difficult from here. This is 15x is equal to 2x, and then minus uh, 39 plus 39, you should get 78. Now we have 13x is equal to negative 78. Divide the entire side by 13. And you get your final equation, um, x is equal to negative 6. And so in this case, your final answer is actually an equation. That equation is x equals negative 6. Once again, I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, the only thing um, that you might want to realize is um, there is an invisible one up here. I don't think it really plays a role. Um, but for whatever reason, if it helps you, um, you could put it in here. There's a 1 there. There's a 1 there. And that would help you separate the numerator from the denominator. And so, once again, the x is in the numerator, the 5 is in the denominator. And, and we are reducing 10 over 5. 10 over 5 reduces to 2 over 1. And so, here's a 2 and here's a 1. And then we multiply straight across to get 2x. Okay? All right. I hope that helps. I hope that um, gets you on your way and uh, to finishing the homework. And uh, if you have any other questions, um, you know, try to try to email them to me, and I'll try to make some time and get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. Once again, I hope that helps. I hope that clarifies a few things. And uh, good luck. Uh, talk to you later. Bye bye.